Medical informatics covers a multitude of topics. The ones of most significant to radiographers will be discussed in this particular series. The Hospital Information System, or HIS, houses all of the patient's medical information, including billing, scheduling appointments, and medical records. The HIS assigns a unique medical records numbers to each patient that is used by every department for interactions with that particular patient. These are functions that were previously done by hand and required a large workforce and significant coordination among the workforce. The HIS allows attending physicians to enter orders for lab tests, diagnostic imaging, and prescriptions for their patients from many different locations. The HIS also allows the collection of clinical research and public health information. In the healthcare system, the HIS communicates with the Radiology Information System, or RIS, and all other computer shared systems within the institution for shared functions. The HL7 software standards were set by the American National Standards Institute. They accredited the HL7 standards developing organization. They are used in most, most healthcare applications, including the communication between HIS, RIS, and other medical devices. The Radiology Information System, or RIS, houses radiology information and is responsible for radiology functions, such as the scheduling of patient procedures, radiology billing, radiologist dictated reports, and quality assurance data. The system communicates with the hospital information system, or HIS, for shared functions. In order to understand the interconnectivity and the basic communication systems used by HIS, RIS, and the Picture Archiving and Communication System, or PACS, it is necessary to have a basic understanding of networks and communication standards. The term network is used by a computer scientists to describe the connection between computers and other hardware devices that share resources, data, and information. Computers that are used in healthcare institutions are connected through networks. Networks can be sorted into two major categories. Local Area Networks, or LANs, L-A-N, and Wide Area Networks, or WAN, W-A-N. Local Area Networks are the most common and serve a small geographic area, such as a single facility or building. Devices connected in a LAN typically share one server. The PACS for an institution is typically connected in a local area network or LAN. Wide area networks can extend across a city, a state, or country, and even worldwide. Computers connect using the services of telecommunication and cable companies. 
A picture archiving and communication system, or PACS, is defined as a networked group of computers, servers, and archives that can be used to manage digital imaging, according to Carlton and Adler. The PACS is designed to fit the particular needs of the specific healthcare facility, but for the most part, performs the same general functions of storing digital images, retrieval, and distribution of the images. In fact, the PACS has replaced the traditional X-ray file room, the radiology reading room, and the delivery services previously utilized to distribute images. Multiple users are able to access images simultaneously from various locations, including different cities, states, and countries. Johnston and Faber described the PACS as an integral part of the radiology department today. The PACS provides a method for communication between the imaging modalities and the storage and retrieval systems of the radiology departments. In addition, radiologist reading stations allow the radiologist to perform post-processing manipulation and enhancements of the images that they are interpreting. Pan, zoom, and magnify are functions used by the radiologist to increase the size of a specific area. The magnify function is used to enhance the square area of an image. This square can be moved around the image to see various areas enlarged. Zoom and pan functions are usually used together. First, the image is zoomed up to the desired magnified level. Then the pan icon is activated so that the zoomed portion can be moved around, allowing the radiologist to view the different areas of the image. Various measurement functions are available on PACS stations. The most common one is the distance measurement, where the software uses the pixel size, which is a known measurement to measure structures on the image. Another common function is the angle measurement. It measures the angle between two structures and is commonly used when reading spine studies. The PACS has become an essential part of every radiology department. The system can be divided into image acquisition, image display, and image storage and re retrieval. PACS basically functions as the radiology file room and the radiology reading room. In the film screen environment, images could only be viewed on site or copied and mailed out. Lost or misfiled images had to be repeated, leading to unnecessary exposure to the patient. Implementation of PACS has eliminated these problems. PACS allows for image manipulation and simultaneous viewing of images from a number of workstations. Referring positions, consulting specialists, and radiologists can now view images from different locations and perhaps more effectively reach a diagnosis and a treatment plan, leading to better outcomes for the patient. 
PAX has replaced the traditional radiology file room, which was a costly operation and not an efficient method of managing medical images and reports. The traditional file room occupied a great deal of space within the institution and was labor intensive. In large medical centers, trauma centers, or teaching hospitals, the file room needed to be staffed 24 hours per day, every day of the year. Today's radiology room, file room, can be operated out of a small office with space for a workstation, printer, digitizer, and dry laser for copying images. Here we see a sample of LCD monitors which predominate in medical imaging due to the size, price, and quality. Workstation monitors for medical imaging must be of higher quality than monitors used for other applications. Monitor resolution is dependent on the number of pixels in the display. The greater the number of pixels, the higher the resolution. Pixels are arranged in a matrix. A larger matrix size means more pixels, which equals better resolution. Radiologists require the highest resolution monitors for the particular modality. Prior to 1983, computers used in medical imaging departments used vendor-specific software for image acquisition and display. As PACs became the norm in medical imaging departments and with multiple vendors and equipment types in the marketplace, all operating on their own software language, problems arose. Some vendors did not communicate with some PACS platforms. Vendors began to make available software programs that would facilitate the communication between imaging equipment and the PACS for an additional cost. In 1983, the American College of Radiology and the National Electrical Manufacturers Association, or NEMA, joined together in an effort to establish a standardized public format and protocol for communication between all biomedical imaging files, according to Carlton and Adler. DICOM was first introduced in 1985 and became the standard in 1993. The DICOM is made up of multiple parts from image display to storage and retrieval. The DICOM standard defines the functions a device can perform as a service class. A device can be a service class user or a service class provider or both. The functions a device can perform are spelled out in the device's DICOM conformance standard. DICOM is digital imaging and communications in, me in medicine. The DICOM header is part of each image acquired. The information recorded in the header includes the patient demographics, such as name, medical records identification number, and the referring physician. The header also records the number of images in the study, the technical factors used for the image, and the exposure index 
for the exposure in all but PSP systems. According to Carter and Veal, any image manipulation is also recorded in the header and radiographers should be aware that he or she is legally responsible for any image manipulation that occurs. The DICOM standards is not the only standard governing communication between various computer systems. Health Level 7 International is an ANSI standard developing organization. The stated purpose of HL7 standards is to provide standards for intraoperability that improve care delivery, optimize workflow, reduce ambiguity, and enhance knowledge transfer among all our stakeholders. HL7 standards govern the communication of most clinical and administrative data, such as patient demographics, reports, insurance claims, and physicians' orders, according to Carter and Veal. The RIS can either pull patient information through a DICOM interface or through a gateway that creates an interface with the HL7 device and the DICOM device. Computer systems that store medical information and images are vulnerable to loss or corruption of files through the crashing of computer hard drives, electrical malfunctions, file corruption, institution fires, floods, or other natural disasters. Therefore, to prevent the loss of patient information, a storage system must be in place, such as redundant array of independent disks, or RAID, or a storage area network, or SAN. The use of computers in healthcare has seen rapid expansion and that trend will only continue to grow. While there are many advantages to electronic access to medical information, including medical imaging, there are some drawbacks. The main concern is unauthorized and Ill illegitimate access to information through a computer workstation or information that is transmitted over the internet. HIPAA, first enacted in 1996, mandates the security and training that healthcare institutions and other covered entities must have in place to protect patient privacy. Under HIPAA, all communications concerning medical information must be must have safeguards that cover both the identity of a patient and the confidentiality of the information being communicated. Patients must give their authorization for the release of their information and healthcare facilities may only disclose the minimum necessary information for the purpose of the disclosure. Information that is stored electronically by the institution or any covered entity affiliated with the institution, for example, a billing company or a medical devices company, must either be encrypted, have all patient identifiers removed, or be scrubbed of all except the relevant data fields, according to Carlton and Adler. Healthcare facilities 
must have procedures in place that control access and security of patient information. All employees must have documented annual training that is related to HIPAA regulations and safeguards. Thanks for watching. To purchase the full course and earn your CE credits, click on the link in the description or head on over to our website at www.medical-professionals.com. And while you're there, check out our All Access Pass, where you can get unlimited CE credits for your state and ARRT renewal for just $49.99. We also offer a host of free resources to make it easier than ever for radiologic technologists like you to achieve excellence. Check out our free radiology CE webinars, clinical reference guides, and free CE courses on our website today. Be more than just certified. Choose medical professionals.